On November 18th, the D.C. Zoning Commission held its final hearing on Georgetown's 2010 campus plan, a proposal outlining the university's goals for expansion and development over the next 10 years. The plan's major provisions include the creation of a New South Student Center, the addition of 250 beds on campus, a voluntary enrollment cap of 15,000 undergraduate, graduate, and continuing study students, and the construction of an internal loop road, which would run guts buses past Harbin Hall. The hearing was the fifth and last opportunity for the plan's opponents and supporters to defend their positions before the Zoning Commission. Though the Commission had originally planned to make its final ruling on the plan in May of this year, two additional hearings, including the one on Thursday night, had to be scheduled to accommodate the amount of testimony provided by each side. Thursday's hearing was scheduled to focus on the District Department of Transportation's analysis of Georgetown's internal loop road and the effect of guts buses on the neighborhood shuttles. In a report released on November 8th, DDOT said that it did not have any objections to the plan. In October, DDOT received a full and comprehensive data set and has been able to undertake a thorough analysis. Based on that analysis, DDOT is able to offer strategies that will mitigate adverse transportation impacts. These four strategies are detailed in DDOT's November 8th Supplemental Report to the Zoning Commission. But debate at the hearing encompassed more than transportation. Discussion of student noise and trash was the focus of many neighbors' testimonies. Are you familiar with some of the unbelievably egregious behavior that's depicted in some of those letters? I have read those letters. Okay. Um, do you or anybody else um, among the senior administration officials who are here um, live in circumstances that are any way similar to that where you had encounters with loud, difficult neighbors or even dogs barking all night. Have you had to deal with that personally? I certainly have had to deal with, with situations that are challenging in neighborhoods that I've lived in. The hearing also provided an opportunity for Georgetown to defend its plan. Administrators argued that the university had already made major concessions to neighborhood concerns and that many of the neighbors' proposals would be a financial burden to the school. In a small number of cases, students do make repeat violations, and we take this very seriously. For these few students, Georgetown now moves more quickly to severe sanctions for repeat violations. Those include our notification of parents and of academic deans, they include placing students on disciplinary probation, which limits their ability to participate in campus activities and to study abroad. All told, the testimony lasted more than five hours until Zoning Commission Chair Anthony Hood called the hearing to a close at midnight. The Commission will reconvene on February 9th to make its final ruling.